Well, hello, hello, and welcome to... Oh, oh okay, there it goes. A little delay there. Welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr. I hope you're having fun with... Uh, fun tonight. We, we've we got a little bit of odds and ends to clean up because we're getting near the end of Season Zero. So, uh, if you remember last week, we worked on the door and a little bit of the temple... And uh, what we're going to do today is, since Ray Est is available with us today, say hello, Ray Est. Hello. Ooh, we're rockets. actually going to head back to the village because uh, we're so close to having that finished. And we're also so close to the end of Season Zero that uh, I do really want to get this finished, finished. Uh, of all the projects that have been left unfinished, this is, one, this is the one that I really, like, if nothing else gets done... I want to get this village done. So we've got to do a little bit of lighting work. I don't I don't think we have all the spawnable areas covered. I know we got a couple of spots over there. Um I am oh and I need to rough up the deck over here a little bit, make it look a little more worn and weathered. Um I don't think any villagers are going to wander off into the water and get drowned by drown. But uh, at this point, that's uh, I I'm willing to I'm willing to take that one. Or maybe we'll just plant a ring of uh, sweet berry bushes around the shore. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Yeah, except the that idiots also keep will still anything from helping. Yeah, the, the idiots will still walk through it though. Well, I can't fix them. No, I know. We 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 just get a village proof for village. That's all. All right. Now half of these random lanterns I had put down because I needed to get lighting squared away. So let me start picking up some of the random ones. And then I'm going to load up the texture pack that lets me take a look at light levels and see see what's where. And that is going to be my focus. I know Rayest has a couple of buildings that she wants to get done, but I would really like it so that way by the end of the stream we can turn our villagers loose in their new village. That's the plan. But we all know how the best laid plans of mice and men went. Oh. No, they don't study that in school anymore. No? Nope. Not anymore? Nope. I really don't think they read that one anymore. That's a shame. Yeah, I know. All right, so you're going to load the thingy McDoodle oh, yeah. that's going to tell me what needs to move where. <laughs> uh, well, I can already see a lot of gaps in the lighting. All right, where, where's the uh, shrubs and sea lanterns? Uh, they're on me. But I can hand you some. Okay. Let me go to options and video settings. I gotta turn smooth lighting off for this texture pack to work, right? And we got resource packs. And I pull up the monster spawning check by Dramen Over. Uh, the link was in Tango Tech's video, and I'm pretty sure I put a link in the first one that I pulled this up in. Uh, if not, a quick uh, a quick search should turn that up. Alright. Loading. Done. Bam. Alright. Yeah. Alright, we definitely gotta get some lights on the pathways because uh, it doesn't look like all of our ground lighting is covering things. And I keep forgetting that because you have the one in your hand, it's... Uh, oh! Somebody hasn't slept. Ooh, run away! 
<laughs> oh. That's the one downside to using a trident as your ranged weapon. That would have been so cool. They are angry. Mm hmm. I don't think they like me. Oh, that's right. The li I don't think the library was uh, finished the last time I was around these parts. Of course, I got the janky lighting texture back on, but now's as good a time as any to check that anyway. Oh, oh, we should definitely all our check coffee the interior of the buildings. That is a neat couch design. Yeah, Corrales has done yeah. some really neat uh, interior work. The I second I saw that in his video, I was like, we need that in our life. <laughs> think this coffee is without looking at the website who do you think the best coffee is without looking at the website and who do you think this coffee is without looking at the website answers down in the comments <laughs> okay yeah I like this And it's actually lit up. It's not going to kill anybody. Um, cool. Yeah, I'd like to figure out some street lamps, too. Because, like, uh, we've got a splotch where there's a diagonal that starts here, here, here. And then a big old ugly splotch that I think if we, uh, if we put a lamp right here, um, like a where is here? street light. Where is here? Marco. Pull up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> of course, because you have light in your hand, it's also uh, changing <laughs> the shading. Oops, my bad. Uh, no, 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 nothing wrong with that. Just uh, pointing that two out. Two on the diagonal. Oh, one, two. Okay, so there should be one here anyway. Okay, that does take care of a little bit of it. And then, hold up, and there are how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, okay. Three, four, five, boop. That actually took care of, uh, well, two, do you have a three, light four, in your hand? Okay, five, that, boop. That actually took care of a big chunk of that right there. And one, two, three, four, five, boop. And there's lots of little squares over in this area, but I think that's because this part didn't get the, uh, the middle of the, the middle bit taken care of. Oh, yeah, none of this has it. One, two, three, right. four, five, boop. You have to say the boop. It matters. You have to. Yep. All right. Boop. Somewhere in here are some shrubs and lights. Five. Boop. I took them all. All of them? Like all of them? All of them? Maybe. Well, we didn't have that much left. Like, there's a lot. I can hand you some what I got. I have stacks of many. I probably shouldn't have that out in my hands. Oh, never mind. There's the dark oak. Alright, I just need some uh, sea lanterns. Oh, 
Oh. Badoop. I thought it was boop. Badoop. Oh, we're doing different things. Boop oh, is when you put okay. it down. <laughs> okay. There are rules. I don't make them up, I just follow them. You still have the mod of many colors on? Yes. In a second, I'm gonna have you come check what I just did. Okay. Seems to be done. That was one of the random lanterns. And yeah, the tree looks okay. Oh yeah, another random lantern. Oh, okay, there we go. If we go one and two. Going down over here? Yep, you did. Okay. Yep. Alright. One doesn't right. go there. No? Uh, That's one too close. Something's off. Should be two on the diagonal. One, two. It should be there where the road is. Oh, never mind. That's why we didn't put that one there. Alright, so what design do we want to do for a lamppost? Because we can start doing that in some of those tiny spots. Yeah, because uh, like going right down the middle of here, they, there's uh, a dark spot right here, and then like at regular intervals all the way down. Um, all right, let's let's go see what we got in inventory. A lot. <laughs> Well, trying to keep within the theme, like, uh, I was thinking something like what, uh, Fall Symmetry and Scar have used on a couple of theirs, where we take, um, either stone brick or red brick. Um, matter of fact, let me grab I tried the red both. brick over by the plaza, and it looked kind of weird. Um, we need some... Dark oak fencing. A crafting table mine. Jump! Jump! We'll take maybe some smooth stone slabs and maybe some lanterns. Ah, yeah, no, instead of using an actual brick brick, use the mm -hmm. wall, and then... Oh. 
And then instead of using the fence post hanging over, um, do a slab and a slab. Although, maybe not those exact ones. And do something like that. But let me hurry up and mm. sleep before you get assaulted again. No, I'll go sleep. There should be yeah, a bed you, near here. Yeah, <laughs> there should be. I bet this room is dark. What, this room? Yep. The one that has the beds in it? Yeah. No, I fixed that room. I, I lowered the lanterns oh, okay. down a little bit, and that was enough to give it just enough light. But something like this, although maybe move it up one more higher. So the lamp's a little taller. <laughs> I don't know if you want to use a different wall, because instead box. of... Instead of the red brick, we could do the stone brick. What you looking for? Inspiration? Uh, I think that's in a different shulker box. Oh, okay. What about um, iron post fence things? Uh... It's a nice idea, but it's a little too thin. It's great if you're trying to do like a wire where it's hanging down off of a wire. But for something like this, it's just a, a tad too thin. I like that better, but the slabs are... Could you pressure plates instead? Just to make it look a little bit less like heavier than the thing that it's sitting on? No, because the you can't hang up. Lantern from a pressure plate. Slabs are going to be the thinnest thing you can. Uh, mm. Unless you want to do something... Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. There. And I need one of those. Well, I mean, I guess that could work either way. No, it still doesn't solve that it looks heavier than what it's sitting on. Ooh. Yeah, no. Um, that's a negative. It looks like trying. it should fall over. Yeah, but we don't have anything thinner than a slab to make that work. Mm. I don't know. That's not that bad. Um, why is there a random shulker box just laying on the ground? Uh, it looked like something that had been tossed out of an inventory. Oh, I might have done that accidentally. Ah. Stuff. Oh, I don't guess I don't need that many rockets right now. <laughs> Are we having a little trouble with inventory management? Having problems with not having enough space. Oh, okay. I need to get another one, though. I apparently only have one in my inventory. <laughs> and actually, for that matter, we could do that with any trapdoors. Because that will work. But maybe instead of that, we do the... Um... How do you make a trapdoor again? 
uh, oh, there it book. is. Four. Book. I mean, not that particular trapdoor, but in general, I like that a little bit better. That particular trapdoor looks a little weird, though. <laughs> All right, all the trapdoors. Let's see. Recipes. Her oh, no. apt door. Her apt door. Shush. Not dark oak. Not oak. No, I mean we got enough dark oak going around everywhere else. I know, if not the dark but... oak, if not the dark oak, then the spruce maybe. My only concern with the spruce is that the tone of the uh, the wood will be a little too different from. Maybe, we... yeah, no, we definitely, yeah. So there's the dark oak. Because the problem is most of the other trapdoors are. Uh, Perforated is not the right word I'm looking for, but um, they, they have their own issues. Did I make a wood trap door again? Uh, six and a three by two. Three wide by two oh. tall. Yeah, you, you lose a lot of lumber. It's why I'm really hoping that in a... Uh, Future update. Um, they uh, <laughs> they they introduce a wood cutter like the stone cutter that, that helps you get better yields out of the materials you use. I mean, at least with trees, it's a renewable resource. That's not bad. I want to try this. And that's just using for the dark oak trapdoors and the dark oak fence and a stone brick fence. Although. Um, because we got enough red brick, we may want to do the red brick base. I do like that better with the stone. Uh, what, with the... Ah! Nope. <laughs> Oops. All the oopsie. Okay. What, like that? Uh, no, I like the red brick better. Well, you just said the brick. You know what I meant. No, Obviously. I didn't know what you meant. If I knew what you meant, I would have... <laughs> Just for kicks and giggles, see how this looks. There we go. Hmm. No. Mm, nope. Definitely dark oak. That's a negative ghost rider. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to say we go with this. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I'm going to leave you to figure out um, spacing and whatnot. And I'm going to double check and make sure the groundwork literally is uh, taken care of. Okay. Do you want the rest of my sea lanterns since you're doing the groundwork? Sure. There we go. The rest of the dark oak fence I had on hand in the uh, boxer. Awesome. Thank you. And the lanterns. You don't need the lanterns? Not the lantern lanterns. I need the sea lanterns. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. Alright, um... 
We have so many lanterns just randomly placed about. It might be time to thin some of these down a little bit. Although, I kind of like that there. new show today Sarah Lane told a uh, wonderful story that reminded me of you uh oh well you see hey. she uh, went out her house or she got home from walking her dog to find a yellow lab just chilling on her front porch And just uh, the long and short of it was that it was somebody else's dog in the neighborhood and just decided to, you know, make his home there. And, and I remembered you and that uh, German Shepherd. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, you know, she gave the long story of uh, her trials and heading down to the, the deli where most of the people gathered in the area, you know, like... Does anybody know whose dog this is? No? And then, of course, the upshot that she almost kind of hoped that nobody claimed him. You know, so Otis would have a playmate. Oh. I know what that feels like. Did anybody claim him? Yeah. Yep, but apparently it was the most chill yellow lab you ever saw. Although, most labs do seem to be pretty chill no matter... Well, I mean, except for the chocolate labs, but... Yeah, but that's just the meth labs. That's just how they are. Ah, uh, that's why that one didn't get done. <laughs> and some of the other ones in this area. <laughs> Why? Uh, because it's the Hollow Earth. Ah. Yeah, and I just realized that the section that my, uh... One of my houses is on is mm -hmm. off. By, like, one. What do you mean? Uh, all of the lanterns are off by one. Oh... All the lanterns on the ground, or...? Yep. Over here? Yep. It's okay, it's just one very small corner. It won't take too long to fix. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully Arcadius will be able to help us out with some of those, too. Three, four, five. It's kind of weird. We're approaching the season where all the podcasts go on uh, Christmas break. <laughs> So everybody's wrapping up like, you know, today's going to be the last live show of 2019. Pre-recorded episodes. So yada, yada, yada. Feels so weird. What, to be this close to Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This year has flown. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, you're telling me. 
And we need to uh, we need to get to planning because January starts season season one. Yep. Where we get our brand new member. Season no more excuses. Yeah, season no we more. We have excuses. a season under our belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, I know. That, that one a little, that hole. I dug a hole a little bit deeper than I needed to. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, not not just that, but uh, well, I know we need to. We're going to start it off at one point fifteen. That means that the vanilla tweaks data packs. I got to figure out which ones have been upgraded for us to be able to use. Uh, we do need to sit down and talk about which ones we're going to use. I'm, I was thinking it's a safe guess that pretty much all the ones we're currently using, as long as there's a 1.15 compatible, then oh, yeah. keep to the same list. Because I, I don't think there's been anything added that we would want to add. Um, although I haven't checked the website recently. And part of my big question is which ones if all of them have been updated yet or not. Um. Cuz that definitely would be one of the uh one of the things to kind of bear in mind. Figure out. Yeah. Okay, now I know where the issue is. You don't want to know the answer. What? Okay, I'm not moving so the road. because the street <laughs> isn't level, and we started the grid that the barn is on, just making it parallel, but it's the wrong width. Mm -hmm. Because of that, nothing is lining up. Yeah, that's sad when that happens. Guess what? Nothing's lining okay. up. Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. I forgot that with all the workstations between them and the window, it looks like they're all staring at me working on the yard. Like, what am I? Lawn service? Yep. I mean, I guess technically I am. I mean, effectively, that's what's happening. No, and pest control. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, then boop. No, something else isn't lining up. Diagonal. Mm -hmm. one, That's what I just said. Two. No, it's just me. I apparently can't walk in a straight line. Maybe I shouldn't let the uh, villager do the breathalyzer on me. Probably not. I swear, officer. Villager made you do it? Yeah. He said just one more taste, you know, to be sure. Totally what he said. Mm-hmm. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Mm-hmm. 
So far, so good. Ah! <laughs> this is why I hate hollow builds. Which is why? Yada, 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 saving resources, yada, 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 less work. Oh, I was not for saving resources or less work. I was for cleaning that stuff up. I, oh, I'm for nay, nay. not falling through the floor suddenly when you weren't expecting to. Although, fortunately, the uh, person who's not here to defend himself on this matter did at least uh, light it up appropriately this time. And I didn't fall into a pack of creepers or something. Four, five. Is it a pack of creepers? What is the plural of... Uh... I feel like they should be a mob of creepers. <laughs> no, that feels a little too on the nose. Did you know that e a pack of emu is called a mob? No, I did not. I learned that. Was... I've been watching the Irwins. Okay. <laughs> um, I think it was hey, uh, to learn Friday's, stuff. Friday's guest for DTNS. They had uh, talking about what a uh, the collective noun for hippos was. But for the now that I'm on camera and I need to remember it, I can't. Which is more than moderately frustrating, to say the least. Because apparently, them jokers are mean. Like, they have the jaw strength to snap an alligator in half. Yeah, that's why there's a hippo problem in some other country, and it's like a big issue because they're like, if we're serious. Yeah, and they were almost brought into the States. Like, for fun? Uh, no, for stakes and to remove an invasive uh, water lily species. Because, you know, adding one invasive species always takes care of the other. All right, that's how that works. It's how it's worked every other time they tried it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing. Okay, I only have one more lantern, and we need to finish fixing this section. Two, three, four. Boop. So I'm just going to leave a hole. Boop. Okay. One. Boop. Three, four, five. Boop. Lantern, lantern, or sea lantern? Uh, sea lanterns and um, the bushes for this area. The bushes? Hang on. Bushes. Three, There's four. a bunch of those. There's some of those. Oh, did you seriously just walk away? And do you need a regular lantern, too? Uh, no, I got regular lan lanterns. Okay. And you can have eight more of those back. I don't need that. I need that. There we go. No, because I need more than those. Now I was getting ready to go grab my lighting box. Uh, I figured okay. out where we left the ender chest. There's the ender chest. And then I will need you to double check the section once I'm done. Yeah, I have had an absolute blast. My latest YouTube binge has been watching the Irwin's TV show. Nice. And it's awesome because everything on there is cute and deadly. <laughs> cute and deadly? Mm hmm. My favorite things. These are a few of your favorite things? Mm hmm. With the snake bite. I gotta, I gotta double check and see if path blocks are, uh, path blocks are spawnable. 
Because I just noticed that over by your horse table you got a couple of patches. Although the interior needs a little bit too, so. Oh no, I know I know I have to do that place. Alright, but anyway, back to uh counting with her ass. Uh no, back to <laughs> see season one planning type stuff. Uh, cause one of the things we got to figure out is how are we going to do the season one premiere? When are we going to do it? Are we going to do it on the Tuesday before New Year's or are we going to make the Tuesday before New Year's the last day on this server and maybe do a New Year's day stream on the <gasps> new server? I would love to do a New Year's day stream. That would be awesome. Because I believe everybody in question has New Year's Day off. I I'm am not sure about remotely medic. sure. I didn't know we'd said names yet. Uh, I, I think that's come up enough. I was trying to. Oop, it's in the internet. <laughs> yeah, well. It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> I need one more bush and one more sea lantern, please. And thank you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, making the simple request reminded me. I, I was on the uh, Resident Files wiki to see if there's any speculation about a couple of things, and somebody posted a wonderful meme about, you know why we don't have an elf in the shelf? Because you don't make deals with fairies, that's why. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> like, you know? And it was just this beautiful rant about why you shouldn't invite the Fae into your house. I mean, seriously, why would you do that to yourself? So no, you know, we're not going to invite an Elf on the Shelf. I can't even hate. Although I've totally thought about doing an Elf on the Shelf at the store, but then I also realized it's my team and that would get abused and vicious and uh, it would be that, hilarious that could, and not PC. <laughs> that, that could be hilarious in all the wrong ways. Yeah, it would. It would. And, and I'm a little okay with that. Like, I know that about them and I appreciate that about them. It's one of the things I love about them. <laughs> that we all know and understand and, and there's nothing... There's nothing hidden about this. Oh, not only is there nothing hidden, but absolutely adorable moment. Uh, one of the guys oh. that was originally on my team and had transferred to another store because of moving um, within our district, uh, they inherited a box of products that we are like really responsible for like this is like relationship with vendors on the line kind of stuff oh. and my team knows that the person who loses this is the person whose soul will be stolen um so he gets the box and our dm is about to go like okay let me explain what's going on with this he goes no no no, no. i got this <laughs> we're gonna do this <laughs> and explains that he's going to do it as I, as he knows I would and goes, this is the box. This box represents someone else's word and responsibility. You will not mess with their word and responsibility <laughs> because poop rolls downhill. <laughs> it was beautiful and awesome. <laughs> That's great. I love it. It made me super happy and proud. <laughs> this box is mine. There are many like it, but this box... <laughs> Basically, yep. <laughs> Felt proud they had learned. And their poor team now knows. We, we don't mess with other people's responsibility in word. <laughs> we take that very <laughs> seriously. Good. There needs to be a little bit more of that air. Ah. Let's 
so many little spots. Like seriously, what's the difference one block's gonna make? Oh, that, that's gonna be the difference between coming back to finding a village and coming back to finding a ruin. So, each of these needs one of the... Ba-doop. Okay. These and those and, and those and those. And a you. And... Mersey Dots and... And little Limsy Dipsies. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh! Nope. Okay. Yeah, that was a lot of sound effects. <laughs> Yeah, that was a lot of sound effects. I wonder <laughs> what's going on over there. Never mind, I don't want to know. I'm thinking. I had an idea. And it's going to be a fun one. And oh, it's no. going to help with our excessively phallic water tower. Um, you know who to talk to about that one. I know. We don't discuss this. I also need something stackable to climb on. Yeah, that does seem to be an eternal struggle. There needs to be a super jump button. Super jump? Uh, well, there's yes. a jump boost potion, but uh, good luck collecting all the materials for it. What does it take? Uh, I'm pretty sure Rabbit's Feet is the Hardest to come by ingredient. <laughs> like how you get kind of quiet about that. Like, uh, little bunny foo foo better make his way over here. The little bunny foo foo, he didn't do anything wrong to you. Now I'm going to have to check that again for later, what the potion recipe is. Mmm, steak. Now I want a real steak, not a Minecraft steak. Well, fortunately these days there are ways around that. It's called cooking. Yeah, but that would require work. And I'm pretty sure Peta gets kind of upset if you start making farms. I mean, somewhat. Ooh. Mm hmm. Uh. I did a thing. You gonna sleep or do I need to? I'll sleep. So painful. It's oh. like you have to stop what you're doing just for the stupid sleeping. Oh, I mean, if you want to not sleep with all these spots that we haven't finished lighting up. Far be it for me to... Alright, what do you think? I think I'm going to be counting two by two in my sleep. Oh, about the thing I just did. I don't know what you just did. Come look by the fountain. Nice. Yeah, I like that. You gonna put one on each of the lighting around it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lighting around it seems to be pretty good. Although this this spot was mostly good, except for um, this little patch of stairs right here. Okay, well I'm gonna do the rest of them, but I wanted a starting point to and figure then, out my spacing, so I figured I'd start with this. Yeah, and then a regular interval all the way down the middle of this road. One, two. Hmm. Sure, we'll go with that. Wouldn't do.
There we go. That at least takes care of that. All right. Back to the sun. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought about doing that at different levels. So, I definitely like the idea. Sorry, the thinking and the counting. Yeah. Of no, no, no. Doing I, I just get wrapped a... up in a lot of the same. <laughs> yeah. Um, I definitely like the idea of doing a New Year's like stream. The question is: Is New Year's Day going to be the first stream of the new season, or the last stream of the last season? Well, and that was that was what I wanted to. That was what I wanted to ask. Um. Because normally Tuesdays are stream day, which would be New Year's Eve. So do we want to do New Year's Eve, last of the old server, and then New Year's Day, start of the new server, and just do a back-to-back -back stream day? I think that'd be cool. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, and I... Uh, Probably ought to figure out if we want to try to offer a world download. I'm tempted to say yes, but I'm also not confident in my ability to uh, set it up appropriately anonymized. How do you mean offer a download? Well, you can zip up the world and let whoever wants to download it, download it and run it. Uh, like Hermitcraft does on their stuff. One, two, I mean, we could, but it, I don't think it necessarily has to be that fast to turn around. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm, again, thinking longer term. Gotcha. feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, um, I started getting a little bit of work done on the updated website, and one of the things that I'm not sure how we want to do is it looks absolutely desolate once we get rid of the uh, a lot of the blog posts that don't fit. Um, so what I was considering was backdating a couple of posts. You know, um, write a post as if it was at the start of the server, kind of outlining what's going on. And then maybe, you know, backdate a couple of milestone posts, like when we upgraded from 1.13 to 1.14, and maybe a little bit of that. Uh, but I wasn't sure how you felt about backdating stuff like that. I mean, considering it's the beginning for us, I don't personally mind that. Like, it's not something I want to become like a regular habit. 
Yeah, no, no, no. It, it's just one of those things that I really need. <laughs> uh, I need something there for now. Yeah, but the whole purpose of Season Zero was for us to learn, so I don't feel like that's yeah. that bad a thing for right now while we're in the learning process. That's why it's Season Zero and not Season One, because we knew it was going <laughs> to be full of mistakes. <laughs> yeah. That. I... I don't think that's necessarily a good or bad thing, just it's a thing. Okay. No, I uh, just... You know, Arcadius was. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. No, I'm. I'm totally think that's that's fair. And so and you know, this following. Season, we just know a little bit more about what we need to do and what we don't need to do. Following our bylaws and all that, I wanted to make sure I got a uh, you know. A A or an A. Mm-hmm. Uh, I left some of the lighting that would normally go over here undone because I wasn't sure how far out we were going to extend the road towards the farms and where right they were going to go. Or if we were going to turn it into path instead of road, although since we have so much road everywhere else. Uh, those are where the two buildings need to go to, so. Oh yeah, the... Um the leather worker and the uh, butcher. Yep. I got a few buildings I got to finish. I definitely want to get this lit up enough, though, that we can turn the villagers loose and get them to start uh, populating the village. So we can tell them to be fruitful and multiply. Bless you. Thank you. We're going to move this random orange bed from by the fountain. Uh, just about anywhere. You can put it in Arcadius's mailbox for all of Well, just since we're on cleanup. Seems like a yeah. good thing to do have cleaned up. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. One, two, right? Yep. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. What changed with the lighting? Because it used to be better lighting. I just got the here. lanterns that were around it. No, they took out the lanterns uh -huh. so okay, that I could okay. do this. Okay. And now I'm going to put them back in with this. All right. Uh, where did you put the bed? I moved it. Well, because it's nighttime. I was trying to figure out where you moved it. Oh, it's in my inventory right now. Okay, just drop it down somewhere, so. There are couches in the library. I keep forgetting about that, I actually. I think it needs to be one higher than that. Probably go snooze in the library next time. That's about the size of it, right? Does this need to be one higher or no? Is that even with these over here? It is. Then yes, it should be one higher. Just because it feels like the fountain should be a larger fixture. Yeah. Well, there's been a couple of spots we might be nearing the end of the groundwork. <laughs> so to speak. Two. One. Two. Hmm. There we go. Right. That 
No, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five. This should have been it. That looks silly like that. That looks better. Okay. that one little light makes. One, two. That's the amazing difference one little block makes sometimes. Yeah. And I need some more dark oak shrubs. And sea lanterns. Ah, uh, there's plenty of shrubbery. Oh, there's plenty of oak shrubbery, and I'm 99% sure it's the same texture for oak and dark oak. It just gets labeled with a different tag. Because of reasons. Oh, but there's some dark oak leaves right there anyway. And I've got some more of those there anyway. All right. I'm trying to make do with this here now anyway. All right. All right. Thoughts. Uh, they have fled away. Because I know I, I there was some stuff from podcasts that I wanted to talk about. I was saving it up. And then we get here and I'm like, oh, I wish I had a brain. If I had a brain. I really ought to make that my theme song. No comment from you. I don't know what you're talking about. I said nothing. Mm hmm. I heard that all the way over here. Yeah, that's better. Uh, the only problem is with the height. Mm -hmm. The height looks like looks right aesthetically. But uh, it is not right lighting-wise. Like, uh, you've got a big... These are all poorly lit. I'm not done yet. And likewise on the other side. And it's probably going to be that way on each of the four... Yeah, it's going to be that way on each of the four sides. The light's not low enough. Uh, no, the light is too low. Oh, because it's not. Uh, no, I mean physically. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So while it's the right look for the height, unless you want to toss an iron bar and hang it down from an iron, from an iron bar, or hang it off of an end rod. Mm, I think I might try an end rod. See how that looks on. Do you have end rods, or do you need to find some? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> so I guess I need Blaze to ask you when I need time. an end rod. Is that what I heard? <laughs> well, there there was there was a, a going into the scary place for things that I, were needed. Ah. And... All right, how does that look? I like that. Are you going to do just the two sides on the fountain, or are you going to... No, I was going to count it, so it was all four. Okay. So there's a big square. I was hoping that would help eliminate some of the oddly shapedness of it. Does that help the lighting issue as well? Uh, ooh, with the end rod? Yes, that does. Yeah. Uh... I'll have to see how the other one goes. 
does it look aesthetically okay or should I do a regular iron rod? Uh, it looks okay on this end. Now, part of the reason why it looks okay is because we do have the texture pack for the endless end rods. So there's no big gray cap on one side or the other. Truth. Yeah. That just leaves a block here and a block here that are unlit on the side. Okay. I'm not done yet. I got things to do there. And it'll be the same if you do that same design all the way around. All right, let me take a quick flyby and see what spots are missing. Yeah, now, the one thing I don't like is, uh, since it's focused purely on lighting levels, areas like the, um, the, the roof of our little entrance to the mine show <laughs> up as... A low light level, even though that's not a spawnable surface, so it's not something we got to worry about. Oh, that's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. So I got to double check like some of the rooftops just to make sure that it's not a spawnable surface before I go. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about that. Or worry about that. But other than a couple of spots on the roof, and it looks like near some of the construction. That is the point of being here. Yep. People who make that sound. Uh, wonder why those are missing shrubs. Oh, that's right. Didn't we have that raid come through here? We did. Just trying to figure out why some of the covers were, or some of the lights were missing the leaves over them. Shucky darn. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I did not place them well. No? Nope, I mathed wrong. things can be fixed with my pickaxe that I need to rename undo. You need to rename undo? I need to rename it undo. You know, like Is that your, your silk Control X. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the part that really sucks. What? Getting busted back to basic gear. Getting all spoiled with this high-end diamond stuff. Mm. Supplies aplenty. And then it's back to... But I have two hunches. Um, by the by, speaking of hunches and remembering to eat... <clears throat> I'm, I'm fed right now. Look, look at the thingy. I have all the hearts. Um, no, I was going to remind you that since we agreed that we're going to bump up the difficulty level from uh, normal to hard. Oh, it, don't remind me about that. It is possible to starve to death in hard. I don't want to. We're not talking about this right now. So, you know, you, you might want to get in the habit of keeping a closer eye on those hunger bars there. This is an unnecessary conversation. No, it's a very necessary conversation. <laughs> I, I'm, I might set up a command block to log every time Reyest died of hunger. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is very unnecessary. <laughs> like, not track all the deaths. Just the number of times you starve to death. I don't know why you would do such a thing. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know at all. So, you know, your, your friendly reminder. Food matters. I'm fed right now. And I am never fed. One, two... Oh, that would have put it back there. Alright, let's play the lighting game again. Okay. Um, who was working on the granite building over there? Me. Oh, okay. Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of dark over there, but I wasn't going to mess with that too much until... Yeah, it's not done yet. Yeah. Um, I kind of like that it. That spot there. That spot there. Those guys there. What if... What if? Can you pass me four sea lanterns? Hello. There we go. Okay. Uh, does this change the local light level any? That takes care of that one block that was here. Also, you totally handed me five instead of four. Yeah, I realized that after I tossed them. Does that look awful? It does not look awful. Doesn't look great, though, does it? Hmm. Ooh, no! Ideas, ideas. Reverse, reverse. Oh. Shush. Oh. I do not appreciate your snarkery. You know, I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Possibly even from several people. Look, reverse, run, rub it away. Ooh, fly. Where'd the thingies go? Ah, uh, thingies. Yeah, go back to walking everywhere <gasps> too. No! What? <sighs> Just the flying went fast. I thought something spawned or something like that. No, I just went faster than I anticipated. <laughs> We're gonna walk back. to finish uh, some of the stuff in there anyway. This interior is lit. Just, I don't know. I made it too small. I made it too crowded. I thought I made it big enough. I did not. Oh! This is where all those went to. What those? Uh, just a bunch of stuff I was looking for. <laughs> I forgot I had left all these shulker boxes over here. Oh, well, you should bring them over here and make with the organization. What do you mean, make with the organization? Well, because eventually we're going to figure out what we're leaving here, what we're taking back with us. magic? It is. It's about to be. So is this what it feels like to be Scar? And just randomly find shulker boxes? And every day becomes Christmas? That's a lot of the hermits. Yeah. They have resource management issues. 
and every single one of them promises to do better, I too will join the tide of saying, I promise I will do better about keeping track of my shulkers. It's okay. Nobody believes you any more than we believe them. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Alright, how about that? That works. That... It looks like this area is well taken care of. Okay, now I need to finish with you guys. <laughs> Two, three. Hmm. Um, also, also, have you any thoughts on the exterior of the library? As far as... The fence post as decoration? Yeah, I like it. I like okay. it. I was just looking for something a little different color, a little different texture. Yeah, no, after like the eighth creeper fell off the edge and nearly attacked me, um, I slabbed the roof. But I tried to keep it so that way it was as unobtrusive as possible. No, it's totally cool. I just I needed something with the fences. I just wanted something that was a little yeah. bit different. But that still fit the theme, but made it look not like a bunch of plain walls. Yeah, other than uh, a couple of spots on the roads, it looks like we've got this properly lit. And where a road might be. Um... Well, and then there's the building that's not finished yet. Wait. Oh yeah, and that'll take care of one of the big spots that was missing. Alright, so let me go back to my... Take off this lighting resource pack because I'm getting kind of tired of looking at squares. And imagine why. Turn the smooth lighting back on. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, this this came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. This might be a little bit close, but I was hoping it would give it kind of a cool, like, stair-steppy vibe. Totally a noun. A stair-steppy vibe. Stair-steppy vibe. Mm-hmm. Yep, perfect. Boop, boop. Not you. sounded like a bad thought. Well, I was thinking about letting one, just one of our villagers go and see how well it went, even though I know we got a couple of spots that aren't quite lit, but we're also over here. Truth. And just to make sure that it doesn't, like, wander off into the water and that kind of thing. That's fair. We should probably find that out early. Yeah. Would be a bad thing to find out late. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the orange bed in storage so no villager claims that. And I'm going to set out one of the barrels. Yes. What? Sorry, happiness just happened. Happiness just happened? Yes. You'll see in a minute. But pretty happened. And as we all know, I am a fan of pretty. My totem oh, that giant. didn't take long. <laughs> what didn't take long? Mr. Convert already picked up on a uh, 
composter somewhere. Oh, okay. Or not a composter, a uh, barrel. Where is a barrel? Is he a fisherman? Oh, because uh, over here where you have the chests, you have barrels, and that really should have been a composter. Yeah, but they're in picture frames. Yeah, no, because I took it out forgetting that that wasn't the... Oh. I need to okay, put a well, composter his there. Okay, well, his about to get moved. That's cute. Can he not path to the bed that he claimed? He might not be able to. All right, let me, s <laughs> let me save. Let me sleep. And then we need a composter. So we're going to need one, two, three, four. And Unless there's a, uh... oh, because it's the wrong time of day for him to change professions. Unless he found a barrel that was somewhere else. Nah, either way, it's not the right time of day. get to trading with you. Just change jobs. The job market's changed. Come on, change with the times. I see you hanging oh, around here you. like you want to change jobs. another turtle. Or is that one of the ones? What's turtles? Hmm? What's wrong with turtles? Nothing's wrong with turtles. Just unexpected turtle was unexpected. Oh, let me uh, convert these ink sacks for you. I love when the game just leaves the ink sacks flying around. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, they're well preserved. there wasn't a dolphin to move him on me. I mean, the dolphins are nice, don't get me wrong, but sometimes they can be real jerks. I think they were coded that way. Like, there are times I really want to craft a tuna net. That's not wrong at all. <laughs> Like what do you what do you need? Some string for that, right? You get some string in the right uh in the right way? <laughs> no. No. All the negative. No? You sure you sure that can't be a thing? Positive. I could I could totally make that. Uh maybe that should be one of the data packs. Oh hey, he changed jobs. Nice. That's it. Get to work. Build up that inventory, Mr. Convert. Oh, you. I gave you this nice potato farm. And what do you trade? Wheat. <laughs> um, Quick question. Do we want any light lamppost on the outside ring or no? What do you mean on the outside ring? The path that runs around the outside of the oh, um, compound. They look a little odd there. They look a little odd or it looks a little odd without them? 
I think they look a little odd. What do you think? Um, Especially when we can just do it off of this thing. Well, there, there's enough lighting on the fence itself that we shouldn't need them around the outer loop. So let's do okay. everything but the outer loop, and then um, and then if we end up needing it for whatever reason, we can always add it later. Okay. That's one of those things that you can always add. I'll just leave him to do his thing. He can be in his happy place with his happy farm. Zipper tea. Mm. That can work. Oh, definitely not on this side, though. Pillager banners. We'll have to go find some kind donors around around the neighborhood. Ooh, that well, is if one I of keep nice accidentally things. walking into places. <laughs> Post thingies. Um, iron fence. Uh, not on me. Oh yes, well, I do. I fun. have six of them on me. I can uh, I can get some more too. I need one. Unless we're gonna toss Mister Converter back in his cage. Although <laughs> no, I just need one. I only have room for one. Yeah, one stack. That was not a stack. No, it was not a stack. <laughs> Six does not a stack make. It, it has ambitions of being a stack. It dreams of being a it stack. It does. It does. But it, it's mm. not quite there. Uh, I don't remember that being a problem, but one, two, and... Light. Aziz. Lights. Two. Keep waiting for somebody to post that Captain America. I got that reference. It's to tell you this, but it might be because that, that's not a recent reference. Oh, hush. I don't want to hear from you. Especially given the way some of your own staff have uh, reminded you oh that not all goodness. your references are that current either. Oh, they hurt my soul. <laughs> They're so young. They don't know. Like, anything. <laughs> Just, you know. Throwing that out there. Oh, no, it did uh, all the painful. All of the painful. <laughs> okay. All right, so that is cleaned up. We got Mr. Converted running around happily farming. No, he was happily farming. Now he's just staring at the church. Like, dude, it's okay. You can go in. Oh, he actually walked in. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's what we need to do. We we need to get another uh, cleric and name him Friar Friar. Oh, that'd be cute. Either that or Friar Tuck. <laughs> All are welcome at the church, Java. Yeah, but they have a lazy mess. As opposed to a lazy mess, which is something different. Yes. <laughs> oh, sadness. No oh, sadness? I have a storage issue. You always have a storage issue. I do not. <laughs> the tithe is only 10% of your time in pets. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 good sir. That Java requires more than 10% of time in pets. For serious. Better, dude. Oh, did you claim. <laughs> the <laughs> Our uh, little farmer there has claimed one of the couches in the library is his bed. <laughs> oh. That was unintentional. Okay, whatever. That works. Go, go about your stuff. Just close the door to the library on your way out, right? Oh, good. Yeah, you did. exactly. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh. <laughs> well, especially because he, he gets up, he crosses the street, and goes into the church. <laughs> this, is, this is unintentionally funny. This is gorgeous. I love it. We do need to trade with him eventually, so that way uh, we lock him into well, his need to figure profession. everybody out and figure out what we're going to do with each of them first. Well, I know, I know. Well, we've already got one farmer in there, and Mr. Convert makes farmer number two, which is what we wanted for this area. We needed at least two farmers so that way they could feed enough folk to keep the village growing. Uh, okay. We've got a cleric already. Then we need and two honestly, composters here, I, correct? Yeah, we're going to want two composters here, but one of them we already have. Um, okay. He's in front of our founding villager in the in the main house, in the big house. Okay. Um, I am thinking, did I put an iron door on that zombie farm? Because while there's no way a villager yeah. can get hurt in there... No, you I'm do not. I'm thinking... Yeah, no. I'm gonna go uh, get an iron door anyway, because while he shouldn't be able to get in there and hurt himself, I uh, I just as soon not tempt. Fate. Before I go further with these, uh, how is the lighting situation going with these lamp posts? Um, I, I got the lighting checker off at the moment. Okay, we'll wait till I'm done then. Yeah. If that fixed our uh, problem. I know we had an iron door somewhere around here already made. This is why all the other Minecrafters have like a bajillion iron doors floating around. Oh, we have a bunch like everywhere. Like we definitely need to reorganize like so bad. This is organize of what you speak. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess I can put that in the right spot. If I can find where the wrong spot was. There we go. One thing, put away correctly. Ah, ah, ah. I asked my team about that. What, about one thing rightly put away? One thing well. Fine. Oh, that probably should be in here. No, here. No. There. There. Fine. Let's make another one. Ooh. Okay. 
so way back in the spaghetti before you and I were counting, and you and I are the worst mm -hmm. people at talking and counting. Words uh, and numbers and yeah. all that. <laughs> well, focus what? Um, we should... Good. They can't get... But so we are both down with doing back-to-back -back streams, close the year in one, do maybe like final server tour. As we do yep. the tour, talk about things we liked, we did not like, things that we hope for the future, things that we hope not for the future. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then on New Year's Day, the future will come. That sounds like the that sounds like the plan is uh, New Year's Eve, season zero closeout, and then New Year's Day. It's a brand new stream. Okay. Just need to uh, I need to make sure that I get everything set up so that way we can log into the server. Hopefully, we can schedule to get everybody on for the inaugural run so we'll have to do a little bit of planning in time between now and then although we should have everybody together friday when we do our private D, D game yep and then we can we can reserve a little bit of that time to chat about new year's Jeez. day and uh go over the server rules make sure everybody's on the same page all that good fun stuff Keep feeling like I'm missing some. Oh, that's right. I was going to get some emerald so I could lock him into his profession. Precious. Get the farmer's attention. You hold out the bling. Are you kidding me? Fine. I now have 54 bread for some reason. Come on now. Man does not live on bread alone. He needs steak between it. Carrots. <laughs> Actually, that that would be nice to to find something that would let you make steak sandwiches. I mean, I got steak and I got bread. Why can I not make a steak sandwich? I I, I see no valid reason why I can't have you know my steak grinder. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of lanterns. Okay. What? Um, on the path. Gonna be lit. <laughs> so they say. As in, like, literally. Nope. There we go. There we go. Okay. Is so it well lit enough in the farm? As long as we have all the lanterns there that we do, yes. Uh, okay. If we wanted to cut back on the lanterns around the farm, then we would need to throw some more on the ground. But honestly, I'm okay with leaving the lanterns like that anyway. No, I like that. I think it looks cute there. Yeah. That's right. I needed some spruce planks. I can at least work on that. Well, I'll try to figure out what else needs to happen, because we are definitely uh, reaching a rapid end to this one. I'm not 100% sure we're ready to turn loose the villager horde. Is it a horde? I guess it would be a horde. 
can be. Uh, villager run, <laughs> kind of like temple run, but uh, that's a lot of barrels. Thought we had some more spruce over here. You're asking the wrong person. Uh, do we need lampposts down this aisle? Because I'm worried they're going to be so close to the buildings. Uh, I leave that to your decision. Although it seems kind of weird to have lampposts around every road except for the main road. On the other hand, we got enough on the buildings that it might just it might be okay instead of having them at the regular interval to space them out a little bit better. Just wherever the gaps are? Yeah. Right. Like right here could you use one. Video. Smooth lighting off. Resource. Spawning check. Done. Back to the game. Oh, seriously? There's what? one little square here in the road. Where? <laughs> Alright, where's the... Got a spot of dirt. Do we have a fisherman? Uh, I don't think we do. We are going to want one. That He is going to be on the list of people that we will want. Yeah, you know, if nothing else, Arcadius has somebody to go fishing with. church I don't know have faith he'll find his way back to his field oh no oh come on you, you were expecting what again I don't know not that no no And then you look at the vast sea of red just outside the fence. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Save myself from falling to fly into the tree. There we go. Definitely need to the barn roof yeah, too. I, I thought about moving the lantern in the smithy a few blocks over to the red, but then the back of the smithy is unlit. So I probably need to go hunt down a couple more lanterns and just throw another lantern or two at the problem. Although, we still need to put some lava in the back of that anyway. Ooh, that's what I, that's what I can do. Um, Alright, I'll go get it out of the trading hall. I shall be right back. We're going to just grab a bucket and grab that lava right there. That's less work. Oop. That was almost skillful. There we go. Nope, oh, nope. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the area I blocked off over there. Ok. 
Come on. And that was right here somewhere. There we go. Without the falling in the lava. that out there. Let's grab our... I feel like because everything we're doing is like finishing touch stuff, it's really like making big differences now. Like fast yeah. big differences. Stone brick and correct stone brick. Is it? It is that up a little bit later. Later, I, I just want to make sure that no villager accidentally leaves himself into the lava. Oh, that's fair. That should definitely be a thing that does not happen. Oh, I mean, you know, the, the nice thing about the village when we're done is that we won't have to worry about them. But they'll replenish their numbers. On this episode of Pimp My Village... Uh, I was thinking more on this episode of Darwin in action. <laughs> <laughs> this little village went to the market. This little villager stayed home. This one went ow, ow, ow. Alright, did I do enough post down the middle to make it look like... Satisfactory. Sorry, I was doing a quick check. Alright, I know the top of that is all set. The smithy is now all set. We got everything over there. Um Yeah, this is looking nice. Probably should have grabbed a slow fall potion. We can spend a little more time looking. We got a couple of spots over there. And maybe on top of the... Well, then that's a slab, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bottom slab, so those are okay. Um, of course. As a bottom slab, so that means these guys are top slabs. And that's going to be a problem. Time to grab some brown carpet. There is some left in the carpet of all the colors, right? I believe so, yes. And yes, I do like the spacing. It works out well. It's enough to remind you that it's there, but it's not so much that it feels too crowded. There we go.
area might be a little crowded, but considering I can't really put them on the opposite side. I think it'll be okay. <sighs> Fine. Slab. That means you are a top slab. You're a I'll top have to slab. ask Arcadius when he sees this what he thinks about uh, any of it. I'm about curious to hear his the, opinions. The lights. Yeah. Yeah. The lighting and everything. So those are now spawned. We should have a name jar. A name jar? Every time one of us messes up and says the wrong name. <laughs> I feel like I will contribute the most, but it should still be a fun game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was reminded of all of us making slips here and there when, uh, Somebody on Twitter posted, yeah, PSA, if a streamer has not given you permission to use their real name, please stop putting it in chat and stuff. Like, that's, that's fair. That's very fair. I mean, for me, it doesn't matter because you go to anonjunior.com and there's my name. Because it's on so many other projects that I've done publicly that there, there's no... Like, that ship sailed. That didn't just sail. That sailed far and long away. And nobody knows when it will return, if ever. It's nighttime, and our villager is running back to the church. That's not where his bed is, though. Nope. <laughs> yeah, for evening mass. <laughs> Who said that? Chat. Oh. Hi, chat. <laughs> I need to figure out how I can see chat. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out a couple of things, too. Like, I want to get a... Um... That's what I can ask our parents for Christmas. Oh? A second monitor. I have one that you can use, you know. No. No? It hurts my soul, though. What? Do you use I a don't second monitor? I want to go all second monitor. Why? Yeah. Join the club. Because I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready to have 57 in front of my screen. You look like that dude in Serenity. Hey, what? What's that supposed to mean? What was his name? Mr. Universe or something? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what your computer station looks like. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I've been complimented or insulted. Both. <laughs> Both. He had 42. I didn't think he had quite as many as 42. I knew he had a fair number. And I've actually been thinking about taking one of the portable monitors that I don't use that much because I don't do that kind of traveling nearly, like, nearly as much as I used to and setting up that up as a uh, fourth monitor over here. The problem is it doesn't have a good stand integrated into it. Why does anyone need four monitors? Yeah. Yeah, because three's not How enough. many of them can you look at at once? At least six. Like, if I, if I had lotto kind of money, then I would definitely get another three monitors and put them above these three and angle them down a little bit. 
I don't even That would probably have solve my right lighting now. problem and keeping track of all the things that I need to keep track of all at the same time. I legitimately do not have words for you right now. And that's different from any other time, how? No, like, you're <laughs> serious. Like, I don't... <laughs> what? Why? What do you mean, why? Is there a reason why this one lantern has... Or why this one pole has two lanterns? Because I was trying it. Ah. I was going to see what you thought. Um, It's conspicuous in its difference. Like, either do more of it or less of it. And given as close as these are to a lot of buildings and stuff, uh, I'd say mm -hmm. stick with just the one side. Okay. I mean, we, we got enough lighting on the ground that that side should be okay. Okay, it's just the road side that's questionable? Yeah, it, it's just the road side that's questionable. And your uh, path blocks over here for the horses. Yeah, I have a thought for those. You're just going to throw a lantern in the middle? Oh, never mind. That's a four wide gap. That makes that a little bit harder. Uh huh. Right? Mm, not necessarily. Hmm. Uh. Oh. <laughs> that could work. That at least take care of some of it. And then I'm gonna fill the rest of it with um campfires. Oh, and do the the campfire canopy type deal. That's the way it looks like a lattice work kind of thing. Yeah. Um, if you're going to do that, I don't know if you want to do the cross sections or not. Just because it's probably going to leave more gaps than I think you want to do. Oh, gotcha. Okay. But it, uh, do do like one quadrant to give it a try. Just to see if maybe I'm wrong mm -hmm. on that count. Okay. I think that could be cute. Yeah. And also would solve lighting issues, because then I can go... Boop. 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 That didn't make a dent in your problem areas. I'm not done yet. Okay. Yeah, like right in the area that you're walking, you have a little Tetris-like trio of, uh, like, here, in front, and to my left, on <laughs> each of the paths. That's painful. Yep. Because is that the weirdest spot to make, to fix that? So that didn't help at all? Yeah, it, it took care of one one square out of the Tetris, because it was originally a legit Tetris piece. Oh, okay. So, th this this last square here at the end got taken care of by your lighting up there. So, now you have the okay. last three blocks, and, and then you get points, I think. It's been a while since <laughs> I played Tetris. Thanks. Oh wait, no, that was just this past uh, Thursday, and games revisited. How does one make shameless plug. campfires? Uh, Enjoy your shameless plug. With coal sticks and logs, or you just buy them off of a villager. Do we have one such villager? Um, I don't know if we have one handy, but I've got a stack of campfires with me right now. Okay. Where'd you go? I'm in the building, which also needs to be checked for lighting issues. Ah, yes. Uh, I really wasn't even going to bother checking the building because... Oh, behind you. Yeah, that looks dangerous. A bunch of floating fires behind you. Awesome. It also looks dangerous to be holding a campfire like that. While walking? <laughs> It's okay, yeah. I have my torch. Well, that too. Um, 
Yeah, because there's a weird checkered pattern over on the side. <laughs> Keep in mind it is directional because you've got one that isn't... Uh... Oh, good to know. I didn't know they were directional. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah! No! 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 I should have a bucket of water. Yeah, you should. Please tell me you're using the silk, silk touch axe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no. Just, you know, just checking. Because that would have been sad if you lost all those campfires. Villagers of the sells the campfires. I know Arcadius has two of them over in the angry fish farm. And that's where I bought most of mine trying to level his up. Does that look better, or no, the other way is going to look better, isn't it? Come on. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Fine. Yeah, the fence doesn't touch. Yeah. I kind of figured that would be a problem. It's a Jabba. Look at the Jabba. So sad. Yeah, I need to get some better. And I don't uh, know. Java paintings too. Yes. I don't know how I feel about it from the front, but I think this side it will definitely look cool. Oh. Oh, at least that is a lot there's. of fog. Sorry if the server dies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, bother. Just short. Just short. Yeah. Whoa, look at all that smoke. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I like my frame rates right where they are. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's really cool though. That that it's is more. that is ridiculous. And is that the full stack or how much of that is that? Yeah, that's full stack. Ah, uh, so you're gonna need a whole f a whole other stack. Basically, I mean, it got more than halfway. All right, let me go. Let me go see uh, if we have any of the right villagers in our trading hall. You might want to sleep though. In oh, well, no just small second, part because I slept first. the last couple nights. And you don't want phantoms coming after you. They always come after me. They're mean. I know. Well, that's a weird low light spot. Huh. Is it water that puts them out? Yes. You are sleeping, right? I sure am not right now. Well, you sure ought to be. You asked. What was that? I thought I could make a jump. Oh. I play jumping games about as well in Minecraft as I do in any other game we've ever played. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oops. That's the wrong direction sat there and looked at the sign and went in the wrong direction. That says something. I know it does. I still gotta finish lighting up that hill. I made some progress on that side. But I see that one lone skeleton standing there mocking me. You missed a spot. Well, I know what kind of iron farm we're gonna build next time. Great googly moogly. We have one, all two, the iron. three, four, five, six, almost seven chests full of iron. I wish we can make the campfires out of different types of wood. I don't know that it gives you that big a difference, though. 
Oh, wait, farmers aren't going to have it. Um, was it the sold? Was it the fisherman? I think it was the fisherman. I mean, not this fisherman. This fisherman is useless. Get some emeralds real quick. Ooh. Ooh. I have an editor. this brilliant idea. Also, I don't know that I love all of the campfires. You need to tell me that before I go finishing trading all this stuff? Mm, well, you should come take a look. Collecting all you see, um, I don't think I mentioned this on stream, but apparently XP seems to get caught in the booths with the villagers on um, the hall the way we've got it currently set up. So, one of the things we're definitely gonna have to do the next go round um, is we're definitely gonna have to make sure that the uh, actual workbench is in a different spot. So that way the XP has a chance to blow out to you while you're standing in front instead of having to go to the backstage area. And... Alright, well. I have emeralds. Oh. Come on. And fly! Sea of red and low light, and then little spots here and there. Okay. What am I here for? What do you think about the campfires? I think it looks fine. You're right to get rid of the fence and put something else there. Also, you're missing a campfire? Yeah, I know. I had two. There was an answer. Oh. Maybe try some slabs at the end instead of a fence. You can still hang lanterns off of a slab, or are you gonna put the fence over here and then put the lanterns on the fence? Oh, <laughs> um, I see we have concrete in our powder. Oh, oops. Huh. <laughs> Did that happen? My bad. Batman. Seriously gonna run those across on a bar? No. Yeah, like a jump thing. No. No, let me go get you some more campfires. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we almost got it set up so that way we could uh, release the villagers into the wild, but that's okay. We still got another two weeks, week, before, uh... Two weeks. Two weeks. Math. The math is hard. So hopefully we can have that finished and maybe I can get a little bit more done on the desert temple 
because that would be the close second to the project I'd like to get done. I mean, I really wanted to get the landscaping around the mountain done, but why, why am I going up here? I want the, uh, want the thing here. But yeah, first and foremost, I want that village. Uh, I want to turn those villagers loose before we call the season up. And we're down to the last little bit of lighting and that kind of thing. So uh, hopefully next week we'll be able to finish that and have it actually done done. Hang on, I gotta cut that resource pack. I'm in the nether. Of course there's not enough lighting. This is a dark and scary place. Done. Back to the game. <laughs> we really We're gonna do like these campfires that. upside down. All right, so as we kind of hit a natural stopping point, so I, I need to go do some resource gathering. Let me go ahead, mute Discord, bring this over to the end credits. And this is where I thank you for joining me along for this episode of Coffee Craft. Uh, we stream Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and uh, that's minus four or five... UTC. I can never remember. The daylight saving always screws me up every time. Just when I think I got it right. Uh, but join us along for the live streams. We we got a couple more coming up. The last Tuesday of the year, we will wrap up Season 0. Kind of meander around, reflect, and then New Year's Day, we'll do an extra bonus stream where we go through... Uh, and start off season one. We get the whole new stuff going. And, and all that fun. Definitely, definitely join us for that. And I'll try to make sure to put uh, event reminders up on my Twitch page. Which, by the by, if you're watching this on Twitch or Mixer, make sure you follow along to get notified of when I go live. Stream replays are available for as long as Twitch and Mixer will ha hang on to them. Which isn't that long. So you should definitely go down to the description below and visit the YouTube link to the channel where I upload all the stream archives, plus some other stuff to include um, a new format for Games Revisited. You'll definitely have to check that out. If you want to hear more or ask questions about that, then tune in Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, as in the day after tomorrow. And I'll be streaming that live and talking a little bit more about the new format, what seems to be working out well, what needs, uh, what might need a little bit of change, and that kind of thing. And um, if you are watching this later on the YouTube channel, congratulations for finding the YouTube channel. Subscribe to uh, get notified of when new stuff gets added. And I got more changes coming for Coffee Craft. I started with some changes to Games Revisited, and we're going to be spreading out the love as that goes along. So definitely subscribe, and if you want to watch live, down in the description below should be links to the Twitch and Mixer channels, whichever whichever service you prefer. I simulcast to them both, thanks to Restream.io. And with all that said and done, thank you, have fun, and I'll see you next time.